facilities at Hennepin Technical College and the professional photography have been just extensively taken care of. Um, the college has been great about keeping this an up-to-date college. We are training students not just for the jobs of today, but the ones of tomorrow. And we found that the school has been great about maintaining us with current and always the most current software. We train on so many different systems that students end up with a transferable knowledge that just encompasses pretty much anything that can come across in the future. We have great student lounge areas and we are newly, revent, uh, newly remodeled areas. So it's, it's a very comfortable, very professional facilities. Our new digital classroom has got big uh, projection and large computers for all the students to work on and up-to-date softwares. The digital classroom, that's where we teach Photoshop, Lightroom, and it's we're always, again, the most current versions of both of these. And it's a great setup where the instructor can teach either from the front of the room so we can maintain eye contact and contact with the students or from the back of the room so we can watch their progress and make sure everybody's keeping up. So it's a really well-designed setup. Large IMAX for the students to work on and for anybody that's Mac phobic. We do have these computers that can boot in a PC mode as well. So having that dual platform capability is just great. We have our digital lab which works in conjunction with that one, it's connected to it. That's It used to be our color print area and now the chemistry printing has gone away. We are now doing digital printing. We do large format and small printing. Students learn to really be able to, they have to calibrate their monitors, they have to calibrate the printers, they have to calibrate for each paper. So it really is a, a learning curve everywhere they look. Uh, then if we move into our standard classroom, it's a little different than most classrooms. You're not going to have the straight lines and rows and lectures. We keep our classes small, and that's what I like about all of our classrooms, is they're all maxed out at like 25. This gives us a greater one-on-one -on -one rapport with our students. I mean, all of our students know all of the instructors and staff by first name basis. And that's the way we like it, that everybody feels comfortable just to ask anybody whatever they need to know. We do still have a black and white area. So yes, we still have film. Um, unfortunately, black and white is not something students are going to make a living with. So it's, one, it's, it's a technical elective at this point. It's one of those things we hold near and dear to our hearts, uh, primarily because when a student watches that image pull up through the chemistry and watch it develop, it really reinforces the basic skills that are in photography. Uh, students have additional equipment they can check out. We have all kinds of DSLR cameras and lenses. One of the things I love about the equipment that the students have access to here is that they get to try something out, decide if they like it. The worst thing I want to see a student do is go out and, oh look, somebody was promoting this lens, I have to go buy it, and they're going to drop $2,000 on a lens. Well, here they have the opportunity to test out all kinds of different lenses, test out all kinds of different cameras and different equipment, and they get to try it before they buy it, basically. And they really get to find out what it is they want to do, and then they can tailor the equipment that they need and make those smart purchases, make those smart investments. Our studio um, is phenomenal. <laughs> we are very, very well supplied. In our photo studio, we do both commercial and portrait photography. Um, all of our bays are designed so that they're set up to expand as needed. So we have four tabletop bays which can easily be opened up into larger bays and all of those four smaller bays can be turned into one huge bay. We can actually open up the entire studio into one large space. Light sources, we work with um, hot lights, we work with continuous daylight balanced fluorescent lights, um, Kino flows and spider lights both. Um, we have three types of mono head systems. We have a couple of power pack and head systems. All very state of the art, all very similar to what a student will find in, in a real working environment. With the power pack systems, those are more of a commercial based. So that's something you're going to find in a commercial studio where we're doing product advertising, that kind of thing. Um, those, we have a large power pack which feeds several heads. Our portrait bays, we have one that's high key specific, so if you want that very clean white room look, we've got that pre-set up. We've got another portrait bay. It accommodates, we use that primarily for additional backgrounds. We have 60 plus um, canvases and muslins in, in availability. We also have different floor surfaces students can utilize. 
So it really creates a lot of opportunities to create a lot of different looks. So we don't find students coming off with just cookie cutter images. Everybody creates as they need and it's just, the creativity we find from our students is just phenomenal.